Kayla, please like and subscribe. All right. Yeah, I really didn't prepare anything today, but however, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I was going to ask you guys about what you think about what's going on in Antarctica. Like the holes open in the ground. Do you think there's an underground world there? Like no. in the movie Alien vs. No. Predator. Did you also hear that people are trying? They're like a lot of people are trying to get over there because there's gold in the lava. There's dust of really? gold in the lava, and they're saying that it produces so many ounces or six thousand dollars worth a day. Yeah, of gold. really. Yes. Jeez. Well, yeah. people aren't allowed over there. See, that's what I said. So I was having this <laughs> discussion with Mike, and he was like, "Yeah, you can," and I'm like, "No, you're mm -mm. not allowed to go there." You know where they let people? They, it, there's like, like a little a island, portion. yeah, that everybody uh, gets to go to, like McEwen or something like that. Or, mm -hmm. but it's just a little island. It's not even part of where yeah. supposedly Antarctica is. That's what I've always <clears throat> known is that you actually you have to get special permission from somebody to go there. Like it's Who's not the somebody, right? No, like I don't even know. Like, <laughs> they, don't even know. They fly you, to, you can go there, but you can't go there kind of thing well there's been yeah. more and more videos popping up of people trying to get there being intercepted by military yep. ships yep because mm -hmm. now that it's becoming a big thing on like social media people are actually trying to get there and you can't get there did you so, yeah did you guys see that storm that supposedly came from antarctica like twice. last week it was like huge yeah, it was the second they, time one was when like, the eclipse happened and then this second time that it happened yeah yeah and they say there's like uh whatever they got over there something underground can generate these things wow. it's like a weapon and some of these things have happened on accident like um i think new zealand earthquake in new zealand supposedly was caused by this and it wasn't intentional it was an accident they pushed the wrong button push the wrong button <laughs> they run an experiment and they didn't know what they were doing and there went new zealand wow. my bad yes sorry <laughs> That's crazy. all the countries in the world have treaties. They're like they're peaceful there. Yeah. Everything it's like a yeah. no, it's like neutral. Yeah. They're all good. No matter what's going on over there, we're all good here. So support Let's keep this in wraps. I think there's something sketchy going on. I think there is too. I don't know that there's an yeah. underground civil. So, 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 uh, I can't say the word civilization there, but there's definitely something going on down there. Um why would you pick like the coldest place in the world and one of the hardest places to get to right. um, and all that stuff to do? I mean, your curiosity can only run so deep, right? Like, Hey, let's go mm -hmm. check it out. Yeah. It's cold as all get out. And there's lots of ice. Let's go back home. You know, instead yeah. they're setting up shop there and doing things. And I think it's super weird, but I don't know that. I don't know that there's a civilization down there, but. I do also do think, though, that there's a lot of stuff that the governments do, not just our government, but the governments in general mm -hmm. do that we'll never know about. But right. I do think some of those things are starting to come to light because of social media and that everyone yeah. has a 4K camera on their phone now. Yeah. That's why I don't believe in Bigfoot because nobody's got a real pic good picture <laughs> of him yet. But I'll get one. I'll get a picture for you. Are you going to go hunt him? Well, yeah, I'll go find him. Okay. I'll bring him on the podcast. I, I, I about aliens, though. Like what about aliens? The, I said the same thing can be said about aliens. People are like, "Oh, I've seen them. I've seen them." Well, pull out your camera and take a picture, because yeah, because you I do for everything else, right? I mean, people are getting right? assaulted on the street, and instead of helping them, people take their phones I can't out. Stand that. Yeah. Like, me I, either. It drives me insane. So you're telling me if that's yeah. the case, we can't? Somebody's not going to take a picture of an alien? Like I don't. I don't know. Well, you guys have the funniest story. So I was out with my my dogs out in the backyard, and it was like sun was just about down. Like it was just kind of light outside, but not quite light enough. Like I can't explain it. But all of a sudden, I looked up, 
And I was like, oh, a shooting star. You know, I was like, oh, that's awesome. But it kept going. And all of a sudden it like went into like a ball of fire. Right. And it's like coming down. And I'm like, holy shit. And I'm trying, <laughs> like, I had to go get my phone. <laughs> ball of fire broke out and just like little pieces of fire were all over the place. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I went and got my phone. I was recording and it was terrible, but I was, you were able to see the little dots of fire. And I was like, and they just kind of hovered for such a long time. And I was like, what, what could that be? I think I just saw it like a plane explode or a UFO aliens are coming. It's over. It's, like, over. it's over. <laughs> it's over. Take me down. I'm ready. <laughs> um, no, but so then I'm like a couple hours later, I'm on Facebook and in our city, there's like a chat and news page. Mm -hmm. And on there, it was skydivers. They went on this run and they oh. were all, they were flared. They flare jumped. So they had flares to them. And so they all got together to create this like fireball. And then they all separated. Oh. It was awesome. But I mean, I was a little. But it wasn't the end. It wasn't yeah. the end. <laughs> like, why can't I see a freaking alien? Like I've invited them. Nothing. Yeah. Like I talked to them in the sky. Nothing. Wait, what? Like, in peace, they like, might, come, come show me. You may have visitors. To yeah. Them. Like, that's the one thing I really <laughs> to confirm before I die is that there is confirmed other life out there. I want to know for myself. The truth is out there. Yeah. <laughs> There's something out there. So that's my one hope is I find out that there is other life. I believe there is, but it's kind of like, I really need it confirmed for me. <laughs> yeah. They just point out how they can't really just confirm yeah. it. But maybe they're interdimensional. I don't know. Yeah. A different spectrum that we can't see. And sometimes they become visible. They're chilling. The Who knows? Wolf. They're yeah. cloaked. <laughs> they're close. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> Why do you no not secrets, believe Josh? You know stuff? He doesn't believe. No, maybe, you maybe, don't believe. Maybe I know stuff that I can't sit, talk about. Oh. Ah, or maybe I just don't ah. believe in aliens. That's where <laughs> I would actually really land. I just don't. I mean, or maybe they were here I, before I, in the past were, and went like, away. I, or maybe not. I, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> both sides of like believing and not believing, like. Yeah. To me, we're in this huge galaxy. There's got to be life out there somewhere. Like, I just can't imagine we're, you know, the only ones just cool enough. Um, <laughs> but I can see why a lot of people don't believe. Because we have yet to see it. It's been a secret. And then all of a sudden, the government wants to come out and be like, oh, yeah, we haven't seen any, like, concrete evidence, even though there's supposedly concrete evidence out there. I don't know. Here's the thing, well, though, with all of the alien talk. Why do we think that the aliens would want to find us? I don't know. Like, why, why would they want to use their resources to come to Earth? I mean, we're doing a pretty good job of screwing it up. I mean, they may just be like, yeah, no, we don't want anything to do with that planet. We're out. I don't know. Uh, maybe they're observing us, waiting. But why? Wait, that's pretty us. boring, too. Take a Star Trek. See the prime directive. You couldn't interfere with a planet and let them know that there was other things in the galaxy until they got warp drive. Maybe that was like planet, the number one rule. Maybe our planet's like their aquarium. They're just watching this like fishes and <laughs> swimming around. Maybe. So, we're in this big ass ball. Somebody's up there just really just like we're little ants to them. I saw a really cool yeah. photo of basically there was this big pothole and inside the pothole was the earth. Like it, that was like the beach and I was like wouldn't it be weird? I mean, because if you think about how big the universe is, it's pretty insignificant yeah. dot on the map anyways. But Well, yeah. yeah remember Men in Black? We were inside the marble, yeah. and then the aliens were playing marbles with our with <laughs> a bunch of other marbles that other galaxies were in. Yeah. Because the galaxy was in Orion's belt. Yeah. And we were just in another, like, ball beyond, you know, so 
we were just a little galaxy cluster of galaxies. Are you saying that, that you believe something that came off men in black? <laughs> Have you ever been flashed by a red light? No, but you know, sometimes what I know, <laughs> I was say, uh, maybe you don't know, maybe you did know, maybe you got your, your memory erased. It's possible. It's solar possible. flash. Hey, what if we're a simulation? Yeah. This is all just like in a uh, computer. Yeah. It's just organic. No. But it's still ones and zeros. I don't believe that either. Mm-mm. It's all mathematical equations working all the time. Oh, my gosh. Here he goes. All right. Well, with that. <laughs> time, to, time to shut this thing down. Oh, overload. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Caleb, please like and subscribe.